Well, I wanna welcome you to the podcast today, Facebook Live, YouTube, let's go ahead, day seven, the Morris Cirillo, winning the battle for your mind, School of Ministry, closing, anointing, impartation service. I think we ought to go ahead and just give Jesus a mighty hand clap of praise. It's all right, wherever you are today, wherever you're listening today, the Bible says, clap your hands, all ye people, and shout unto God with a voice of triumph. How many of you know today is a day, dawn of triumph? Brother Srillo has taken us seven days. I kind of feel like the children of Israel, we've been walking around the walls of our mind, and today the walls are coming down. God is sending his light and his truth and he's leading us to his holy hill. Yes, and of course, this message comes to a great climax. But as we were clapping, you know, because back in Unit 5, we were celebrating the great deliverance, the great victory. Mm. We're almost like the children of Israel on the shore when they saw the, the Red Sea uh, come together again and drown the Egyptians. But you know what I love about Dr. Morris Rillo when he prayed that prayer in 1962, give me the ability to take the power anointing on my life and pass it on to others that he would not just say, you need to have a disciplined mind, but that he would provide us with four steps and actually disciple us and walk us through the process. Amen, and that's it, this is a journey. And Dr. Cirillo is building one truth over another truth, over another truth, over another truth. And as we remain faithful, attending those school of ministry online, then suddenly we discover that Oh, I am winning the battle for my mind. Hallelujah. Oh, I feel that I'm out of that cycle of defeat the devil wanted to trap me in. I have 100 victory, and this is truly what is happening to you today. Hallelujah. You are rising up. We talked the other day about how the kingdom of God is like a little bit of yeast. Do you know that yeast is a living organism? How many of you know the Word of God is alive? The Word of God is powerful. The Word of God is able to divide asunder, listen to this, the thoughts and the intents of the heart. And through this school of ministry, through the Word of God, I so want to encourage you, go back to the podcast, go back to Facebook, go back to YouTube, and visit day one and day two and day three. As a matter of fact, we're going to begin next week just for the glory of God to rebroadcast each one of these messages. It's not a week to take off. It is a week to take off in your spiritual life. But today, what an incredible presence of God I feel in this legacy theater. We have our anointing oil ready. We're going to pray especially with you. I believe that God is going to break strongholds over minds today. Do you know that there are generational things that the enemy would love to keep attached to your life? The enemy would love to say your father was an alcoholic, your mother was divorced so many times, your uncle could not be a successful student. And God is saying today that I formed you in your mother's womb. I know the plans that I have for you. Those things are gonna be broken off of your life. That lie that just says I never get opportunities is gonna be broken off of your life. I feel the Spirit of God even saying as we're going into this incredible closing service that in the next 21 days, as you continue to meditate in the Word of God as you continue to stay connected to this anointing, that God is going to do something that you have been waiting for Him to do for many years. God is going to open a door of opportunity for your financial life, for your ministry life, for your relationship life, for your marriage, for your family, for your employment, I believe it, in the mighty name of Jesus for your physical health. Father, we thank you today for the awesome privilege 
standing in your presence before your people, Lord, about to touch again the Morris Cirillo anointing, about to touch again the Morris Cirillo mantle. God, as we connect with this final session today of winning the battle for your mind, God, I declare that as your word goes forth, it does not return void, but accomplishes exceedingly abundantly above everything we can think or ask. And I declare, I want us to declare it together. I have a 100% clean. I have a 100% victorious. I have a 100% pure. I have a 100% healthy. I have a 100% holy mind. I have the mind of Christ. Will you get ready right now? Brother Shrillo, just for the next 10 minutes or so, I tell you what, maybe the most important 10 minutes that we will have shared in this school of ministry is quickly bringing to us four steps to a well-disciplined mind. If you're ready, I want you to welcome once again, God's servant, Dr. Morris Cirillo. Remember Matthew 11, 21? How many of you are gonna put that indelibly in your spirit? Matthew 11, 21. And from the days of John the Baptist until the present time, the kingdom of heaven has endured violent assault and violent men seize it by force as a precious prize, a share in the heavenly kingdom is sought for with the most ardent zeal and intensive exertion. Four steps I want to give you to a well-disciplined mind. First, take aggressive action on Satan's attacks on your mind. Don't be passive. Recognize and resist. Cast out all the thoughts that he tries to plant in your heart and in your mind. Be militant. Second, 2 Corinthians 10, 4 and 5. Take captive. Take captive. Continually bring every thought into captivity. Three. Renovate your mind by putting off the old carnal nature with its carnal thoughts and its wills and desires and its attitudes. Surrender them. Submit them under the control of the Holy Spirit that they might come into conformity to the will of God. For fill your heart Fill your minds, your innermost being. Fill them with God's Word. Fill them with His Word. For, let me say it again, for, fill your mind with God's Word. Some time ago, God came to me. I was praying in my kitchen. And a hand came on my shoulder. And I turned and I looked. And the presence of God was standing over my right side. And the voice of God spoke to me. 
said, son, take out your pen and write. And I wrote as the boy spoke. God said, son, tell my people everything that can be shaken is going to be shaken. You know what God said to me? He said, son, tell my people to get a fix on their faith. Get a fix on your faith. I said, God, what does that mean? He says, when my people have a fix on their faith, it doesn't matter what happens in these last days, they'll never be shaken. I said, how do you get a fix on your faith? God said to me, son, tell them to fix their faith to that which is infallible. What's infallible in this world? Surely man isn't infallible. Surely technology isn't infallible. Surely medicine is not infallible. Surely psychiatry and psychology is not infallible. Where do you find infallibility? You know what the word infallible means? It means no margin for error. How many of you wish that our spaceships were infallible? Huh? We wouldn't have lost one. But how many of you know whether it's airplanes or whether it's rockets, there are margins of error. But there's only one thing that is infallible. Then God gave me another word told me how to fix my faith. He told me how to tell you how to fix your faith. Not only on that which is infallible, but that which is impregnable. How do you find something that's impregnable when you understand what the word impregnable means? It means that which cannot be taken by assault. What is there that cannot be conquered? Is there a kingdom that can't be conquered? Is there a government that can't be conquered? Is there an idea that can't be conquered? How many of you know even communism can be conquered? How many of you know even democracy can be conquered? What is there? That is not only infallible, but impregnable. It's impossible to take it by any action of a soul. What is there? You got it in your hands. <laughs> you got it in your hands. <laughs> Come on, put it up and wave it. Come on, put it up and wave it. Come on, cameras, turn around and get all those Bibles. Wave them, wave them. Let them take a good picture of you so that everybody on television, everybody in the global satellite network will see it. Look at it. That's what's in In your heart. Put the word. Fill yourself. Fill yourself up. Fill yourself up with the word. Close your eyes in the presence of God. Say, I am militant. I am violent. 
and determined to use spiritual powers in my mind, which are my will, my emotion. I am determined from my innermost recesses of my heart to resist the strategies of Satan, his counterattack. And I declare over this school that God has given to me a spirit of power, the same spirit he gave to Jesus. He has not given to me a spirit of fear, but a spirit of power, spirit of love, a disciplined mind. I will not allow Satan to cause me to become weary, to faint. I rise up. Well, somebody just say, I am going to fill my mind. I'm going to fill my heart with the Word of God. Maybe the most important thing we have heard in seven days in this winning the battle for your mind school of ministry. Don, Mark, the Bible over and over and over and over again encourages us in the incredible reward, in the incredible blessing for filling our heart, for filling our mind with the Word of God. Psalms chapter 1, David said, Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel. The counsel is the thinking of the ungodly, nor stands in the way of sinners, nor sits in the seat of the scorners, but his delight is in the law of the Lord, the law of the Lord is the word of God. The law of the Lord is not just the Ten Commandments. The law of the Lord is another way of saying every single verse from Genesis to Revelation. His delight is in the law of the Lord and in his law, in his word, does he meditate day and night. If I could say something before Don comes, before Mark comes, before we get that anointing oil, I tell you, there is an impartation, there is a shift, there is a peace, there is a calmness that's coming to your mind, there is a fear that's being broken off of your mind. If I could tell you maybe the greatest secret of my life, it is these words, meditate in the Word of God. Your time in the Word of God is not a race to see how many verses, how many chapters you can read. Our time in the Word of God is an opportunity to slowly read, slowly listen, ask God, ask the Holy Spirit to show me wonderful things from your Word. If you will make a commitment today just to spend a little more time. I didn't say reading a little more. I said just spending a little more time meditating in the Word of God day and night. The Bible says you'll be like a tree 
planted by the rivers of water that bringeth forth his fruit in his season. His leaf also shall not wither. And Don, this is what I love. This is what Brother Cirillo is saying. And I'm reading it from this incredible Morris Cirillo prayer Bible. Listen to what this Bible says, the King James Version. And whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. That's right. And of course, uh, in Psalm 37, verse 32, it sounds kind of ominous to the natural mind. The wicked watches the righteous and seeks to slay him. Mm. But the wicked are already in trouble because in the previous verse, it says of the righteous, the law of his God is in his heart. None of his steps shall slide. So that's the con that is the condition that we were privileged to walk with combined over a hundred years, all of us together. And the fact that you're here and that you're, even if you've already done this course, you know, it, let me just take one second what Brother Cirillo's concept was. First of all, he was not quick so much to rebuke people, but if people were taking notes, he'd say, please put away your notebook, right. put away your pen. You can't keep up with the Holy Spirit get the recording and meditate. So he's presupposing, not that this is a one-time exposure, but that you're gonna soak and saturate and go very deep. So then these other steps that we're entering into, you know, of, of being aggressive. Okay, I, let me just tell them very quickly, all right? Sure. One of the things that Brother Srillo shared was a thing called OCP. Obs now, you're getting this, but to my knowledge, we haven't released this in any of our materials, no. but Brother Srillo taught this. Observation, concentration, penetration, get inside the problem. He didn't just walk around like in a fog. He was taking in everything. He was observing continuously. And of course, when he would joke, he would joke sometimes, he said, theological seminary, oops, I mean cemetery, seminary. But what he meant was for this word to be so real and so alive yeah. that you really take it seriously. When it says 2 Corinthians 10, 4, we take every thought captive, every thought captive, he literally meant that. Amen. And Dr. Cerillo, we mentioned it so many times, was fearless there, there was no fear thank you Jesus. in his heart because he succeeded to put into practice to take every thought captive and let me give you an example concerning fear you see for example fear works like this you are at home everything is fine and then suddenly a letter come to you by by the post, by the mail. You open the letter, you take that white paper, and then you read cancer. And suddenly, something take and place fear in your heart, in your mind. You need to understand that what just happened by you reading a piece of paper is not a chemical process. Right. No, it is a spirit. It is a war that is waging in the heavenlies. Because this is just a piece of paper with a little bit of ink on it. It has no power because we also have a book filled yes. with paper and ink in it. But this is the living Word of God so that as soon as you read something or an invoice, an unexpected invoice or a bad news, this is the spirit of fear that want to overtake your heart. But then you need to take every thought captive. And that's why what Greg said is so important. You need to be filled with the Word of God. So as soon as those thoughts try to invade you, then the Word of the living God declared that if God is for me, who can be against me? I shall not die, but I live and I'll declare the goodness of my God. Oh, oh hallelujah. 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 We want to pray with you. We want you to go ahead. If you have your oil, you can go ahead and get it ready. And here's what I want to say just before we pray. 
This closing School of Ministry session, we always take the opportunity to bring a special offering of honor for what we have received. Over 12,000 are participating in this School of Ministry on an incredible full scholarship. It was Brother Cirillo's, one of his last instructions to us as a team was to take the School of Ministry courses and to put them out all over the world on Facebook, YouTube, on the podcast, and make it available at no, co no cost. These courses are normally a $50 value, and we just want to take this opportunity on the last day. We don't talk about this in day one, two, three, four, five, or six, but we have been so blessed by having some of the greatest students that not only participate in the School of Ministry by watching it, by taking the quizzes, but also by bringing your special offering. And here's what I wanna ask you and encourage you to pray about today, just before we pray. I wanna ask every one of us that can, I'm asking God for 500 people that will do this, that will sow a special seed of $50 or more. $50 is the cost, typically, of a course from the Morris Shirley School of Ministry online. But here's what we want to do, and I tell you, I feel so excited about this. We want to put something in your hands today as you sow to help us to take the School of Ministry and increase it to build God and army in the nations of the world. While supplies last, for every one of you that will sow $50 or more, we want you to have this incredible Morris Cirillo prayer, cross chain, reference, Bible, all the Brother Cirillo's notes on prayer, the incredible Word of God from Genesis to Revelation, really the two most powerful things that we have as weapons of our warfare are the Word of God and the power of prayer. Philippians says, don't be anxious for anything, but in everything by prayer and supplication, let your request be made known to God and the peace of God, which passes all understanding, will guard your heart and guard your mind. I want you to go ahead and take your oil right now. I tell you, I feel just such a powerful anointing of God. I feel the Spirit of God in this place. I feel the Spirit of God upon you. And David said, you anointed my head with oil and my cup runneth over. I want you to go ahead and just take that oil right now and just go ahead and just release it on your forehead. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, I thank you that, Lord, there are cups, Lord, that are running over today. Lord, that you are filling our hearts afresh with the word of Christ and that your word would dwell in us richly. And I declare right now, the Bible says that he sent his word and he healed them. And God, I speak to every mental challenge. I speak to every depression. I speak to every fear, every phobia, every oppression, every insecurity. And I declare in the name of Jesus, your power is broken off of my brother, off of my sister. And I declare that you are not what your fear says you are, but you are what God says you are. And today you are stepping in to a renewed, healthy, clean, strong. That's right. I break the power of sexual addiction, pornography off of your mind, every dirty thing, every unholy, every unhealthy thing that the enemy has tried to bring into your life to take you into a cycle of defeat. But I declare that today is your day of breakthrough. I declare today that the enemy is bound off of your life. I declare that there is a desire coming into your life for the Word of God like you have never had before. I declare that those unholy desires those desires that distract you, that divert you, those things, those things of the world will go strangely dim. 
in the light of His glory and grace. And so, Lord, we turn our eyes upon Jesus today. And Lord, we thank you for deliverance. We thank you, God, for renewing and strengthening every mind. In the mighty name of Jesus, amen and amen, hallelujah. Yes, Lord, and I thank you for those regrets, those mental cycles of torment that are departing from people's minds right now in the name of Jesus, that they are able to see, just as Abraham was able to see the sacrifice in the Mount of the Lord, it will be shown. And Paul was able to say, I follow after, if that I may apprehend that for which also I'm apprehended of Christ Jesus. But I, this one thing I do, forgetting the things that are behind. Yes, we tear down that, uh, that uh, exhibit, that art exhibit of paintings from your past of failures of things that you think were the turning point, the wrong decision that you think is keeping you out of God's best when that best is available right now. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one, and you will love him with all of your heart. Lord, we release because the word of God, as Brother Shrillo said, the word was God. All things were made by him. We cause every illness to go into remission right now. We cause every cancerous cell to dissolve and turn to water. We cause every lungs to function perfectly. God breathed the breath of life into Adam and he became a living soul. And Lord, we thank you and praise you that the mind of Christ is not just an idea or a teaching, but it is resident in every person that is within the sound of our voices here. That oil is a symbol of the Holy Spirit and a symbol of Christ's dominion in the name of Jesus. We break the power of the enemy and release God's fullness, God's blessing, the power and anointing that Brother Srillo prayed to transmit through this school of ministry. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise you, Jesus. Amen. And yes, Father, we declare that in the name that is above every name, the cycle of defeat of the devil is broken in the life of my brother and my sister. And that the anointing of the mind of Christ is released right now wherever they are. The mind of Christ, the mind of Christ, the mind of Christ, the mind of Christ, whatever the storm, whatever the circumstance, whatever the situation, they will not be afraid, they will not be fearful, they will not walk in unbelief and doubt, but the word of the Lord will rise up within themselves in Jesus' name, and they will declare that the God I trust the God I serve is a faithful God and if he is for me nothing can be against me we have the mind of Christ and we give you praise father in Jesus mighty name amen thank you hallelujah hallelujah he, here's what I want to declare to you today I want to declare to you what Brother Cirillo declared to us. Fill your heart, fill your mind with the Word of God. This is not a book of do's and don'ts. This is not a book that tells you who you are not. This is a book that tells you who God really is and who God says you really are. The key to winning the battle for your mind is in the book of Psalms, it's in the book of Proverbs, it's in the book of Genesis, it's in the book of Revelation, it's in the Gospel of John, in the book of Romans, in the book of Colossians, Ephesians, Galatians. This is our manna. I wanna so congratulate you. What you're doing, staying connected to this Facebook School of Ministry is literally taking the voice of Morris Cirillo putting it next to your Bible, comparing spiritual things with spiritual things, and then how God anointed Morris Cirillo as a prophet, as an apostle, to equip you and I, not only to do the works of the ministry, but to come into a place of peace, to come into a place 
of the power of God flowing through a clean engine. And I so want to encourage every one of you that are sowing today, raise the level of your faith. God would enable you to give a gift of more than $50. Do what the Lord asks you to do today. I want to share with you an incredible secret, the difference, we talked about it earlier this week, between Cain and Abel in their worship to God, in their relationship was only this much, but the difference in their results was like this. And so I want to encourage you to take a step today to make a greater investment in spending time in the presence of God, make a little greater investment in spending time in the Word of God, make a little greater investment in your worship, in your giving. The Bible says, honor the Lord with your first fruits, honor the Lord with your substance, and then so shall your barns be filled. Father, we thank you today for our precious partners and viewers. Lord, I thank you for their generosity. Lord, I thank you that you're speaking to each one of us what you would have us to do. Lord, Jerry and I, we will do what you have asked us to do as we do in every one of these courses. Lord, we're not just standing here on the platform of the Legacy Center presenting this, but we are also students. I also have certificates of completion. I also take the uh, quizzes. I also watch with you the videos. And so, Father, together we are a family. And Lord, I thank you, Lord, that you're speaking to somebody today that has a very special ministry of giving, that they would sow a very significant seed for the building of the army of God, for the expansion of the Morris Cirillo School of Ministry, for the fulfillment of the words that Jesus said when he said, this gospel shall be preached in every nation. Lord, I thank you that as seeds are being sown today, Lord, they are being sown for the preaching of the gospel in every nation, for the building up of the army in every nation, and then the end shall come. And so, Lord, we know that the only thing that doesn't corrupt, that doesn't rust, Lord, are those treasures that we put in your presence. And where our treasure is, that's where our heart is. And Lord, I thank you. I know the hearts of every person that's watching, Lord. They are worshipers. Lord, they are not just takers, but they are givers. And so, Lord, I ask that you would command a very special blessing upon your people today as they rise up to worship you in their special giving for this school of ministry. And everybody said, amen and amen. Well, listen, we can't wait to be back with you for course number three. We're gonna take the next week and we're going to re broadcast the entire Morris Cirillo winning the battle for your mind school of ministry. If you know somebody that needs what this school of ministry is releasing, I want to encourage you to have them watch with you. And then we'll be back in about a week and a half after we rebroadcast this school of ministry with the powerful declaring war on the devil's war school of ministry Cindy Jacobs, we mentioned the other day, who was an incredible prophetess of God, an incredible person that's used in intercessory prayer, declared that Morris Cirillo was the voice that God used to give birth to the modern spiritual warfare ministry. And you're gonna be hearing from that voice in the Declaring War and the Devil's War School of Ministry. And as we go out today, we're gonna to share with you a very special report on what your Facebook, YouTube, podcast, School of Ministry is accomplishing because of your faithfulness, because of your prayers, because of your giving. While you're watching, I want to encourage you, use the telephone, 1-800-514-1864. Use the links. Let our prayer ministers know you're standing with Teresa, you're standing with David, you're standing with Mark and Don and I, and this vision of the incredible Morris Cirillo School of Ministry. Let us know how we can pray with you. Well, on behalf of our entire team, this is Greg Morrow saying, greater things are coming 
in your life, through your life, and for your life. Your best is yet to come as you stay connected. We love you, and we'll see you next time on Live From Legacy. Well, partners, what a great joy today on behalf of Teresa and David Cirillo and our entire Morris Cirillo Legacy team. I wanna thank you for your incredible faithfulness in staying connected to the mantle and the anointing from Morris Cirillo's life as together we continue to build God a mighty army throughout the nations of the world until Jesus comes. You and I are truly a part of a ministry that will never die. I can hear Morris Cirillo's voice reminding us this ministry will never die. I heard a voice. I tell you exactly. It startled me. And this is what I heard as I walked out, stood on the platform, 300 partners there, cheering, thanking God that we were together. I heard this voice. I turned around. I looked. Where is this voice coming from? And here's what the voice said. Son, did you know that prophets never retire? <laughs> now what in the world is this all about? Prophets, now I heard it audibly not in my spirit. I couldn't wait to get up to my room after the meeting was over. I fell on my face in front of my bed and I said, God, was that you? What were you trying to tell me? The Father spoke to me. He said, son, I don't want this ministry that I have given to you that has raised up so many men and women of God. I don't want it to ever You know, one of Mara Cirillo's final mandates to our team was to take the powerful breakthrough proven Mara Cirillo School of Ministry core courses, release them worldwide on Facebook and YouTube every day on a full scholarship, issuing the daily study, review notes, giving every student an end of course quiz to qualify for individual certificates of completion for each of these 10 core courses. Well, I've got exciting news. During the past few months, over 8,000 students from 147 nations have registered to take advantage of the opportunity to receive their double portion mantle in the life and ministry of Mara Cirillo. With over 10,000 completing the full courses and receiving their individual certificates of completion for unity in the spirit, winning the battle for your mind, declaring war on the devil's war, Revelation Faith, Miracle Power Living, Proof Producers, Discover Your Ministry, New Anointing, Manifested Sons of God, How to Win the Battle for the Tongue, from Nigeria to Israel, Kenya to Saudi Arabia, from the Philippines to Cambodia, from the United States to Russia. Because of your prayers and support, God is continuing to expand His army throughout the incredible nations of the world. Amis Vway Lewis from Lagos, Nigeria may have said it best, a very big thank you to my father, Dr. Morris Cirillo. Though he has gone to be with the Lord, his voice is louder now than ever before because he saw the future and decided to make the School of Ministry available on a full scholarship. I am a great beneficiary. Thanks to Mama Teresa 
all the legacy team who never ceased to inspire me. If it were not for this full scholarship, I would not be able to participate in this school of ministry. And dear precious Kennedy Mooley, who said this free scholarship to participate in the Morris Cirillo School of Ministry has been an incredible opportunity for me to receive Papa Morris's mantle. Because of the impartation we received, my wife and I were able to win more than 100 souls to our Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Teresa and the team, and thank you to all the partners of Morris Cirillo World Evangelism. And Moses Matua, who said thank you, Teresa and the partners, for making this full scholarship school of ministry available to me every day on Facebook and YouTube. During the past two days alone, over 20 souls have given their lives to Jesus Christ and God is moving mightily. Witches have been exposed in the streets and given their lives to the Lord. And Shadrach Chimba, he said, ever since I connected to Morris Cirillo's mantle, my life has never been the same. As a result, I have seen more souls come to Jesus Christ than ever before. And I love this one from Diego Urita in Guatemala, who said the Morris Cirillo School of Ministry is the best study course I've taken in my life. I have a law degree, two master's degrees, several certificates, but they didn't do for me. What the Morris Cirillo School of Ministry has done for me and my family. I have received the anointing of Elijah to Elisha. And I want you to take a look at this quick report from our dear, precious, clever Zulu in St. Lucia, one of our 10,000 students on the Morris Cirillo Facebook School of Ministry. Take a look at this. Hi, this is Clever Zulu, one of the 7,000 plus uh, blessed students of the Morris Cirillo School of Ministry that's currently taking place online. What a time, what a privilege, what an impartation we're receiving from the anointing of uh, Dr. Maurice Cerullo. You know, anyone can get blessed anyway. Anyone can get favored anyway. But I'll tell you, what you get from the Maurice Cerullo School of Ministry, you do not get it anywhere else. That's why I'm so excited and happy to be here and testify to the revolution that has taken place in my life. The impartation is just huge. It's so awesome, and uh, it's a school with a complete difference. I'm thrilled and I'm blessed to be here. I thank the organizers. I thank First Lady and President Teresa Cerullo. I thank Greg Morrow, uh, Vice President Don Mandel and Mark Mason, and all my fellow students from around the world that participated, such as Manny Ruiz from Philippines, Joy Nokolo from Nigeria, Henry Nokolo from Nigeria, Janet Rikunga from Kenya, uh, Bridget Colette Amboga from Kenya, Dan Aria from Ghana, and all those that I cannot mention, there's been over 7,000 of us taking place in this school of ministry. It's an incredible time. My life has literally turned right side up. My favorite course of all the 10 that we're doing, Revelation Faith. I literally saw my life moving from one foundation to the other. The pressure that has been in my life trying to reach God has just been removed. And now the revelation faith has brought in the revelation of God in my life. I serve God clearly, easy, with a clean conscience, with a clear mind, with a clean mind victorious mind and my life is headed in the right direction. I'm really, really grateful to the Lord Jesus for counting me worthy of the recipients of the Maurice Cerullo anointing and mantle. So what's next? After receiving such a great impartation, one cannot stay still. One cannot stay put. It's an, um, a revolution that takes place from within that's reaching out and uh, a new conquest as a result of this mantle has been birthed within me and I've set up a bold audacious goal to touch 2.5 billion souls 
not only touch, but disciple them into the kingdom of God within the next decade. Thank you. Well, not only do we want to thank you, we want to encourage you, if you have not registered, to claim your full scholarship to the Morris Cirillo Facebook and YouTube School of Ministry. It's not too late to join over 10,000 Christian leaders that will be starting this January 14th, and you can receive the same study notes, bonus video content, be a part of it every day, get the free end of course quizzes to qualify for your certificate of completion from each of the 10 core Morris Cirillo School of Ministry courses in 2021 and become a candidate for ministerial ordination. I wanna encourage you, email my assistant. She's the Dean of the Facebook School of Ministry, Phyllis Freeman at pfreeman at mcwe.com or call 858-277-2200, extension 2229. And I want you to join Don Mandel and Mark Masson, Fernando Gray, Jerry Morrow, myself, as we begin January 14th, course number one, the incredible Morris Cirillo, Unity in the Spirit School of Ministry. Well, as we close today on behalf of Morris Cirillo, who is in heaven, Teresa and David Cirillo and our entire team, I wanna give you a big thank you for giving to the Lord and may the double portion be your reward. I want you to be blessed as you take a look at this. One by one they came Far as the eye could see Each life somehow touched By your generosity Little things that you had done, sacrifices made. I noticed on the earth, in heaven, now proclaimed. And I know up in heaven, you're not supposed to cry. But I am almost sure. There were tears in your eyes As Jesus took your hand And you stood before the Lord He said, my child, look around you For great is your reward Thank you for giving to That was changed Thank you For giving to the Lord I am so glad you gave Thank you For giving to the Lord Oh